Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I hope your spring break was awesome. We are working on our next lesson in CPM, um, and we're learning about box plots and the interquartile uh, range. Notice that it is a two-day lesson. So today we are working on these problems, and then next week we will be working on the day two problems there. Um, important to know that there is a resource page available. You can get to it by going to the CPM ebook. Um, I will also list it on the Google Classroom on this assignment. Um, it would be helpful and it would be easier for you if you have the resource page. However, you don't have to have it. Um, you can still totally do this lesson without it. Um, here's our introduction. It says, get your facts first and then you can distort them as much as you please. This is a quote from Mark Twain, a famous American writer and humorist. 1835, uh, born 1835 and died in 1910. He also said, facts are stubborn, but statistics are more pliable. What do you think he meant? Much of what you learn and interpret about different sets of data is based on how it is presented. In this lesson, you will use several mathematical tools to look at data in different ways. As you work, use these questions to help focus your discussion with your team. What can we conclude based on this representation? What cannot be concluded based on this representation? And how are the representations related? So here is the vocab for this lesson. Um, first, we want you to know what a box plot is. We will be making two different box plots today. And all that it is, it's a graphic way of showing a summary of data using the median, quartiles, and extremes of the data. And when you're, th when you're looking at the word quartiles, what is the, the, the root word uh, that you think of when you, when you see the word quartiles? Some of you may think of the word quarter or quart. Um, so quarter referring to four. And that's exactly right. Quartiles essentially breaks your data into four equal groups. And you use the median to help do that. Um, and then lastly, what is a quartile along with the median? The quartiles divide a set of data into four groups of the same size. So make sure that you write those uh, definitions down in your journal or on your, uh, on your paper. And with that, we will get going on our very first problem. <laughs> 